uh, bundle number 18, uh, bundle of appeal, you'll find that uh, there are records of public participation or indications of public uh, participation in nearly all the county assemblies and parliament. And from the JLAC report, you'll find that even the law society took part in that process. The judiciary took part in that process. The only problem was that this matter went to court before these matters were fully ventilated in the county assemblies, in parliament, and at the time when it was uh, uh, said that uh, you know, the uh, signatures had been collected. I, I think that should not have happened. And the court, you'll you find, did not pronounce themselves on the question as to whether there was public participation in the county assemblies or in the national assembly. So they stuck to the question that uh, there was no public participation during the collection of the signatures uh, and before uh, the handing over of the signatures to the IBC. Finally, I want, to pro uh, uh, I, I want to share you just a matter of grammar in Article 154 or 257, sub Article 4. Uh, I've not done law grammar in, or grammar in the law language or in French, uh, a little bit in French, but in English, if you use a pronoun or a noun before a verb and it's followed by a noun, that verb is a function of the pronoun or the noun before the verb and the noun following the verb. <laughs> but <laughs> if you have a sentence that is broken, and thereafter you find a noun and another verb, it cannot relate to the noun and the pronoun that preceded the second verb. Simplify so that. if you look at... <laughs> Can you simplify that? If, if you look at Article 257, it's broken in two parts. The operative verb, the first one is deliver, and the, what do you deliver? Signatures. The second verb, which is a function of IEBC and registered voters is to verify. So there's a distinction before delivery. All right, all right. And thank you, Senior Counsel. Your time is up. I'm much obliged. Thank you. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good English lesson. Ha, ha, ha.